essentially a magnetic chamber. It is a magnetic pipe. We get a, a gas. We use argon normally. What are electric plasma jet engines? We live in an age of technological advancement, and it's not unusual to hear about tech news every now and then. In today's video, we'll make you forget fuel-powered jet engines. You can fly from the ground up to the cosmos using air and electricity alone. Hang on tight as we talk about electric plasma jet engines. Before we move on, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's go! To begin with, let's see what we are currently using. Traditional jet engines create thrust by mixing compressed air with fuel and igniting it. The burning mixture expands rapidly and is blasted out of the back of the engine, pushing it forwards. Now, instead of fuel, plasma jet engines use electricity to generate electromagnetic fields. The fields compress and excite a gas such as argon into plasma, a hot, dense ionized state similar to that inside a fusion reactor or star. Interestingly, plasma is also the fourth state of matter. Now that we know the plasma engine's basic working, let's have a deeper look into it. Humankind is rapidly moving towards carbon-free air travel as Chinese scientists have now developed a model jet engine that uses air plasma to produce propulsion. The original small-scale engine, built by a group of scientists from the Institute of Technological Sciences at Wuhan University, uses air and electricity to generate propulsion under laboratory conditions comparable to a traditional commercial aircraft engine. They use the technology to lift a 1 kilogram steel ball over a quartz tube with a diameter of 24 millimeters. It is possible to construct a functioning microwave air plasma jet thruster in the future to avoid carbon footprints and global warming that arise due to fossil fuel combustion. Researchers think that plasma propulsion is common on modern spacecraft, but engineers have long struggled to adapt the technology to work in the Earth's atmosphere. The Chinese team says that their prototype has overcome this hurdle and can produce as much thrust as a commercial jet engine without burning fossil fuels. They aim to build many thrusters with high-power microwave sources to scale up the prototype designed to a full-size jet. The results demonstrated that such a jet engine based on microwave air plasma could be a feasible alternative to the conventional fossil fuel jet engine. A professor at the university said, The motivation for our work is to help solve the global warming problems owing to humans' use of fossil fuel combustion engines to power machinery such as cars and airplanes. There is no need for fossil fuel with our design, and therefore there is no carbon emission to cause greenhouse effects in global warming plasma. We're sure that you're wondering what in the world is plasma, so let's see what it is. The not-so-popular fourth state of matter after solid, liquid, and gas is produced when the atoms in a gas become ionized. Astrophysicists believe that plasma is the most profound form of matter in the cosmos and was the first of the four states of matter to be created after the Big Bang. It exists naturally in stars, the Earth's lightning, and the Sun's surface, but it can also be produced in the lab using microwaves, lasers, an electric arc, and other methods. Plasma naturally exists due to the ionization of molecules at high temperatures or in high electric fields. Artificial plasmas have been created for plasma display panels and television screens, neon signs, and fluorescent lamps while plasma jet thrusters have also been used in aerospace applications for years. Scientists report that the commercial aviation industry could adopt the prototype to replace the current line of carbon-emitting airliners and improve the efficiency of the device to commercialize it fully. Plasma engines have been stuck in the lab for the past decade. The research on them has primarily been limited to the idea of propelling satellites once in space. Scientists now want to fit plasma engines into planes. Their goal is to operate the plasma engines above an altitude of 30 kilometers, where standard jet engines cannot go. Plasma engines could even take passengers to the edge of the atmosphere and beyond. 
The challenge was to create an air-breathing plasma propulsion engine that could be used for takeoff as well as high-altitude flying. Plasma jet engines tend to be devised to work in a vacuum for the low pressures found high in the atmosphere where they would need to carry a gas supply. A team of scientists has tested one that can operate at a very low air pressure. We are the first to produce fast and powerful plasma jets at ground level, said the team. These jets of plasma can reach velocities of up to 20 kilometers per second. However, the most significant limitation is the lack of lightweight batteries. In the realm of engineering, what works on a small scale hardly works in a realistic environment. A tremendous amount of power is required to generate and sustain the plasma. An array of thrusters would need a small electrical power plant which would be impractical to mount on an aircraft. The power supply is also a barrier to making the individual thrusters bigger. Doing so would decrease the number needed to propel a plane, but each would require more power. Moreover, the power produced may not scale linearly, so is it really comparable to a conventional jet engine? An article from Futurism analyzed the potential of this electric plasma jet engine technology. It concluded the technology would require more than 7,800 kilowatts to be equivalent to a commercial Airbus A320. The article further states that for perspective, that would mean loading an aircraft up with more than 570 Tesla Powerwall 2 units for a single hour of flight. That's an absolutely impractical load, mainly because the A320's payload could only carry about 130 of the giant battery units. Stephen Barrett, an MIT professor of aerospace engineering, was positively mocking when asked to comment on the Chinese team's research on Twitter. This is wrong in terms of the physics and measurements, he thundered after reading about the Chinese team's steel ball experiment. What they've essentially done is like heating a stovetop pressure cooker until the valve rattles and call the resulting thrust. But pressure cookers don't fly. He suggested that adding heat by microwave or any other method only works if you compress the air first, like a jet engine, requiring mammoth amounts of power. Otherwise, jet engines would not have compressors, and you could just ignite a candle and get thrust. Candles don't fly around either. His comments are hilarious, yet there is truth in his words. It's mixed with fuel and ignited. The hot air explosion is directed towards the back of the engine. No existing battery tech could provide enough power. This technology is still years away from being executed in a jet engine, but gives hope to the possibility of reducing carbon emission. In the meantime, scientists are looking into hybrid planes in which the plasma engine would be combined with the conventional engines or rockets to save on fuel. So a system like this, at this size, would save about 750 pounds per engine. Having a look back in the past, a 12-second flight by the Wright brothers, it's hard to believe where we stand now. Despite the large-scale flaws in this technology, maybe the electric plasma jet engine could power the rockets of the future and take us to colonize Mars. Who knows, right? The hub, so that we get a balance out of the run from the beginning. What are your thoughts on the new revolutionary electric plasma jet engines? Comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today and subscribe to our channel to support us. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.